This is creating a drop-down menu from a comma-separated list or CSV in the new Google Sheets data validation. Now, in the previous data validation, I could just go data, data validation. It would come up with a window here. And one of the options was create a drop-down from a list. That option doesn't exist anymore. We have drop-down or drop-down from range. Under drop-down, I have to type in each option manually, which is fine if you have a few options. Drop-down from range is great because if you already have that range designated somewhere, then it will just populate the drop-down from the values in that range. But we don't have the option anymore to just paste in a list and it'll automatically create the drop-down. Well, we're gonna go ahead and hack this drop-down from range in order to create that. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's the list that I already made. It has seven items in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my seven items. It's a little bit longer than I want to just write in each of the options manually. So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and hack the dropdown from range in order to turn this list into the dropdowns that I want. For now, I'll just do it on this tab and then I'll show it working on another tab. So right now I'm just gonna paste it in here. Now, if I do add rule drop down from range, hey, it didn't like that. Undo. <laughs> we want our drop down over here. Data, data validation, add rule. If I do drop down from range and my range is C1, then the only option is the entire list. Clearly not what we want. Let's go ahead and edit that. Advanced options doesn't give me anything either. All it lets me do is change the help text, what happens on a bad error and a bad value, and then how it's displayed. Oh, plain text, chip, whatever. There's still nothing that lets me just do exactly what we're looking to do. Let's go ahead and remove that rule. So what I want to do is get this into just a range. I'm going to split it. Split function is excellent. Stand out the tooltip. My text is C1. My delimiter, in this case, the way I wrote it, is going to be comma, space, and then close the quotation mark. Split by each, I want to be false, or how I like to do it for simplicity, for shortness, for conciseness. There's the word for conciseness is zero. And that is going to give me each item on their own. Now, the reason I need to set the split by each to zero, if I do that as true, then it'll break Boba, Fett, Ara, Singh. I don't want that. I want them together as their name. I don't like having things strung horizontally. I'm going to transpose this. Awesome. Now I have a really nice range that I can use. So in A1, I'm going to add rule, drop down from range, and now my range is D1 through D7. And now I have all seven names right here. Let's edit this. And we can see it's showing each of those values. It's perfect. It's just what we're looking for. A few things I can that actually make this work really well. First, let me go ahead and make these true values instead of the formula output. So to do that, I like to do copy. And then I do paste special in the same range as values only. So we can see it gets rid of the formula here. So now I can modify the values without it overriding it by the formula. So my date drop down from range is set to D1 through D7. And let's go ahead right now we can see Ara Singh is in here. If I remove Ara Singh, it removes her from the list. That name is gone. Put it back and it's back. We can make this a more open. So instead of being D1 through D7, let's say in the future, I'm going to add more names to this list. I can extend this to, let's say D100, right? Give me lots of options. And now you want to have my formula back. Now, if I add here, it adds the new name and 
Did I undo that? I did undo that. <laughs> so let's undo a few of those things. Move the Anakin. This does not have Anakin. Drop down from range. Three one hundred. Adds an Anakin. And now Anakin automatically appears here. So it's a pretty simple method that simply using that split formula allows us to turn the list into a range output and then use that range in the drop down from range. Now having that on the same tab can be clunky. Oftentimes this would necessitate or call for a setup tab or something similar. I like to call it setup when I'm having lots of different values and stuff like that. So now I'm going to copy all of this into here. Right, so I can still just add to my comma list because that's how it first got here. And now I'm going to edit the drop down from range and set it to setup B2B. It fills it out immediately and gives me all the same functionality. And now I can just go ahead and hide that down. So with the new data validation options, we no longer have the drop down from list, but we can very easily recreate that using drop down from range and having that range populated by the comma separated list and the split function. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share if this has been of value. You can connect with me here in the comments. I do try to be fairly active in responding and helping in the comments. You can also email me, find me on my website, LinkedIn, Twitter, and I'm also very active on the official Google help forums for Sheets and AppScript.